And what is up guys? Welcome back to your Sellers Hub for another video. So it is finally time for part six of the ultimate hunt. And for those of you who weren't around when I posted part five, which was like, you know, two months ago, it's been a long time since I've done an update. Uh, basically the whole gist of the series was I was going through, I started at the end of 2020, I think like right at the end of December. And my goal was to go through and collect all 36 carded acceleracers as cheaply as possible. I just wanted to see sort of how cheaply I could do it and you know, how much it would cost to sort of build a complete set of accelerators cars. So this is the sixth part of the series. If you haven't seen the first five, definitely go check out the playlist for the ultimate hunt. It's pretty interesting. So just to sort of catch up where we were when we last left off on the ultimate hunt, we had just purchased that really cheap RD08 and that blue wing drift tech. So both of those cars actually have come in. So here is the RD08 that we bought for like 80 bucks. What a great deal on what an awesome, awesome car. Definitely one of my favorite drone cars. I love the whole design of RD08. And the Drift Tech did come in in the blue wing blister, but it was pretty torn up, I'm not gonna lie. And I happened to have an orange wing Drift Tech uh, laying around in my inventory, so I just swapped them out. So needless to say, here is our orange wing Drift Tech that we're going to be putting up on the wall behind us. And believe it or not, I actually got this one for cheaper than I paid for the blue wing Drift Tech. So it really doesn't matter at all. I just swapped them out. So we are officially up to speed. We have 28 total of the 36 cars all on hand. I'm gonna get these up on the wall behind me here in a second. So we only have eight cars to go to get a complete set of accelerators. All right, so this was from a while ago, but um, there was a seller, uh, I think his username was like Jalavi or something like that. And he was listing a bunch of Gen 2 accelerators and Gen 1 accelerators for actually like really good, reasonable prices. Um, I wouldn't say they were super deals, but they were fairly cheap. So uh, I think I had bought, yeah, I was gonna buy the Team Colors RDO 9 from him because it was only 30 bucks and an RDO 3 because that was only 22 bucks. And uh, since I had already paid for shipping for those two cars, I just figured, why not? Let me toss in the RDO one as well, because he did have an RDO one. So I ended up paying $39.95 for an RDO one to make that the 29th car in our set. So around $40 for that RDO one, definitely not the best deal in the world, but sometimes you just have to pull the trigger to get some of those cars, you know? And at the time, I really didn't know if there was gonna be any more RDO ones pop up. Naturally, like a day later, I was able to find one for a lot better deal, but, um, so with that RDO one purchase, that takes us up to $691.36 that we've spent so far to get 29 out of the 36 Accelerators cars. But fortunately, shortly after I bought the RDO one, somebody started listing a bunch of silencers vehicles for once again, pretty fair prices, not great deals, but solid. So uh, he listed a Technetium for I think $35 plus a $650 shipping. I sent an offer to $30 and he accepted it almost immediately, which honestly surprised me. I expected him to haggle a little bit on this because 30 bucks for a Technetium is really not that bad. So the total on this Technetium, once shipping was factored in, came out to $39.06. So that Technetium was definitely a pretty good deal, not a super deal, but it was better than what we did for the RDO one. I definitely shouldn't have paid $40 for that in hindsight, but you know, it is what it is. So the total on that Technetium was $39.06. So that takes us up to $730.42 that we have spent so far to get 30 out of the 36 accelerators. We are so close to finishing this collection. All right, so our RDO one and Technetium have officially arrived. We have our RDO one here, definitely a pretty nice blue blister on it and our tech Nedium. not the best blister in the world it does have a small crease but um still a pretty sweet car so we now have 30 out of the 36 cars on hand which means we're what five sixths of the way done with the collection we are getting closer and closer all right so i had two deals for two more cars that i was missing pop up in pretty quick succession let's go ahead and take a look at them so I finally broke down and bought one of these synchros. Um, this guy had nine of them available at one point, which is pretty awesome. I don't know how somebody comes across nine synchros unless they're just in one big case together. But after some time, I've been looking at synchros for you know a couple months now, trying to find one for cheap. And there just really were never any great deals on synchros and uh, the market value of them just kept increasing by a dollar or two you know, every couple weeks. And uh, eventually I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy one of these before he runs out because the blister is in good shape. So I went ahead and just shut out the cash and bought Synchro. And the total came out to $37.61 once you factor in shipping and taxes. So we are going to add Synchro as the 31st car in our set. Okay, check this out guys. So we finally managed to come across a steal. So this seller listed a bunch of carded accelerators for cheap the other day. They were um, about $5 a piece on starting bid. They, he listed them on auction for $5 starting bid and they all had the ability to send offers in on them. And I'd love it when sellers do that because normally that means that the seller doesn't 100% know what they have. And uh, normally if you send them an offer of like $15 or 16 bucks, since it's about $10 over their uh, their starting bid, they typically tend to accept those offers and that's exactly what this guy did. 
He accepted almost all of my offers immediately, like, you know, 13 bucks for Nitrium, 14 for RDO4, 15 for RDO1. I definitely should have saved that one for the Ultimate Hunt instead of the other one, because why I spent, I can't believe I spent $40 on the other RDO1. I could have had this one for 15 bucks, but uh, no biggie. So there were some pretty rare cars in here. I mean, Excellium, RDO1, Iridium, I got a baseline for 15 bucks, but the real crown jewel was this Metalloid right here. Managed to get this Metalloid for $20, so uh, plus shipping, obviously, but since the shipping was divided up amongst all these cars, it was like a dollar for shipping. So I ended up getting this Metalloid for $21 as our 32nd car. And that is an absolute steal. Metalloids lately been going between, you know, 35 and 50 bucks. So getting one for $21 is definitely a great deal. Super happy at that price. So with the Synchro and the Metalloid, 32 out of the 36 cars are now accounted for. And that brings us up to a grand total of $789.05. Super pleased with the price I got on that Metalloid because uh, it's been tough lately. I've been paying about $40 a car and that was a breath of fresh air for me. And not even 24 hours after I closed the deal for the Metalloid and the Synchro, I actually was able to come across a Covlight car on another website. It was not on eBay, it was another toy car website. Um, and they didn't have many accelerations, but the ones that they did have were fairly cheap and I bought them all. <laughs> and of course, naturally a cover light was included in there and it was on a mint card and it only cost me $33. It was like $29 or $29.99 plus shipping. And I bought like three or four cars. So with shipping, it came out to right at about $33 for the 33rd car in our set. So we are now only missing three cars, which are of course the big three reverb spectite and chicane but with adding that cove light that brings us up to 822 dollars and three cents so we are still well under a thousand dollars but those last three cars obviously you know 300 here 400 there 200 there it could very well run us right at a thousand dollars or more to get those last three cars but um it still looks like we will be on pace to finish this under two thousand dollars hopefully all right so that wall is looking better and better behind us and the three cars that we had ordered over that 24 hour period they did all come in. So first up, we have our Metalloid. And it does have a pretty long crease up here in the top, but still a very cool car. Kind of surprising that it took me so long to get a Metalloid because I really don't consider it to be, you know, one of the more high-end silencers cars. Then we have our Cub Light, which definitely is the highest-end silencers car. And uh, getting this for $33 was a great deal. On eBay right now, they're going, you know, $55, $60 bucks for a Cub Light. And last but not least, we have our Blackwing Syngro that finally came in. So with these three cars, we now have 33 of the 36 on hand. We are at 800 and what's the price we're at again? $822.03. So we are very much on our way to wrapping up this Accelerations collection and this series of the Ultimate Hunt. Hopefully there will be a part seven coming where I'm able to, you know, grab the last three cars and, uh, but who knows how long it's gonna take. Some of those cars have been appearing recently though. I have seen more Spectites and Chicanes popping up recently. They do typically run, you know, a $350 to $500 price tag though, unfortunately. But we'll just have to see how it all pans out. But for today, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed getting caught up on the ultimate hunt. We are still trucking along and getting closer and closer to getting that full set. But if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. Be sure to smash the like button, especially for this Cub Light car. It is absolutely beautiful. It's been a while since I've had a carded Cub Light for sure. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.